This is YNN on the agenda. Well, last week's Supreme Court affirmation of the Affordable Care Act raised the political campaign decibel level among both Republicans and Democrats. My name's Harvey Kronberg sorts out some of what the court decision really means politically. The Supreme Court last week stunned the country when they affirmed the constitutionality of the Affordable Care Act. Republicans immediately began the drumbeat of repeal and replace. Democrats said it was time to move on. The impact of the decision on the 2012 election in battleground states is not yet clear. But here are a few takeaways you probably haven't heard amidst all the political posturing. First, anyone that speaks with certainty about whether or not this will help or hurt the economy is simply blowing smoke. There are too many moving parts and too many likely unintended consequences. The bill does reallocate resources in the economy and there will be winners and losers. But Congress reallocating resources is nothing new. Congress deregulated financial institutions a decade ago, which also reallocated resources. The deregulation had the un unintended but near apocalyptic results. In contrast, the Affordable Care Act probably just shuffles the economic deck on the margins, but with much less impact than the shrill partisan rhetoric suggests. A good faith Congress would try to improve the bill, which leads to the second takeaway. This is not a good faith Congress, and not surprisingly, Americans' 18% approval of Congress has not improved one iota since that dysfunctional institution took us to the precipice of national default and the downgrade of the United States credit rating. My guess is that Americans may not like some parts of the legislation, but also have absolutely no confidence in Congress' ability to replace it with anything that, for instance, actually really does require covering pre-existing conditions. Third, the only voters that will count in how this issue plays next November are independents and women. Support for the Affordable Care Act among independents has surged to a near majority over the last several months. And as a political demographic, women, particularly single moms, have been the most damaged by a lack of access to health insurance and sufficient coverage. For the moment, they're breaking democratic. Partisans will be partisans, but for the rest of us, the truth is usually somewhere in the middle. And that's what's on the agenda. I'm Harvey Kronberg, and you can find me at quorumreport.com.